Hello everyone, Name Brain Dead here. In today's video, we're going to be messing around with end portal duplication. Uh, as there are a few duplication glitches that require end portal duplication, and I thought it would be a good idea to cover them. So, uh, I've done some work on the kits off camera. So now we have the Fortune Shovel, uh, Silk Touch Axe. Smite Sword, which I actually got first try, by the way. Uh, I'll put a picture on screen of me getting that and the Discord message that I sent to the uh, Unattained Discord, or not the Discontinue Features Discord, because I was honestly amazed by it. Uh, and then we have a Fortune Free Pickaxe, uh, because obviously I've got the Silk Touch of Fortune Pickaxe in there. But that is... It's just a pickaxe, it's not really that special. So, the one thing that I haven't done yet is food and rockets. That's because the e the easiest way to duplicate these is by not using the wood dupe, uh, the craft dupe. It's actually to use an ender portal duplication glitch where you send a donkey through. Sorry, I just remembered all the clips of Golden Ramsey calling people donkeys. Uh, where you send a donkey or a llama through an end portal and. Um, Right, I'll, I'll just set it up because I'm terrible at explaining stuff. Uh, right, I've got plenty of end portal frames over here. At least I hope I do. Uh, also, sorry about the extremely... What's the word? I'm trying to think of the word. Hang on, guys. It's like when it's not the same all the time. Yeah, sorry about this, the changing audio sound. <laughs> sorry about the changing audio quality in every single video at this point. Uh, as I said last video, I am currently experimenting with different settings on trying to find good audio levels. Uh, I need to get a proper pop filter that doesn't block out a lot of sound but still blocks out all the plosives. So hopefully I should be able to find one soon. Also get a proper uh, desk mounted microphone stand instead of using like the type of microphone stand that you find at a gig, which is not right. It doesn't, you know, I have to have it down about 45% so that it actually uh, goes next to my mouth, which is not good. I also need to work out a good, you know, where I need to sit for my microphone because currently I'm right up against it, which gives it a very muffled sound, as you can hear. Uh, but if I go really far behind, you can't hear me because the levels are really low. So, yeah, just inconsistency, that's the word. Inconsistent. I can't believe I only just thought that. Yeah, uh, so, sorry about any inconsistencies. Yeah, bloody hell. Sorry about any inconsistencies in audio level. I'm trying to work on it and trying to make it good. But it's just not, it's not an easy thing to get right. As anyone will know that has done audio. I mean, audio is just a pain in the bum to get correct. And when you do, it certainly won't stay the same. So I am trying. Uh, I'll get there eventually. Just bear with me for now. You'll have to, you're just going to have to deal with the inconsistent audio that's changing every single video. Hopefully it's getting better. I mean, compared to when I first started this series, I think my microphone quality and just sound quality I mean, and just quality in general has increased so much. Not to, you know, uh, pick myself up or anything, but it's definitely increased over time. As you may expect from, you know, someone getting more experience with what they're doing. However, I do think that I should have already known how to get a good how to get good audio considering what i do uh and i want to be a sound tech uh and i'm a musician uh that records music so it should be stuff that i already know but you know no one's perfect and i just realized you need 12 not uh 10 right back down we go this is why i'm happy that i've got a somewhat useful blaze farm 
That would be made even better if I was in 1.16 and the blaze and the blazes were moved by the uh, lava, which would mean I could just make an actual proper good working blaze farm. Currently, I can't do that though because Minecraft is Minecraft and doesn't like me. Okay, there we go. I've got all the eye vendors now. And I can go and fill in this end portal. Done. Right, so what now? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Um, get rid of those. And I need a water and lava bucket. Notice how I'm trying to put emphasis on the fact that I do say my T's. I'm not one of those British people that can't say their T's properly. Um, so, you know, Americans, keep off. That's all I'm going to say. Because I don't want to start an argument. <laughs> I've had enough arguments with Americans over which country is better. And uh, still haven't changed my mind. England is best. There you go. Stay mad. Right, I need some lava, which, plenty of it here. Plenty of it, flood the cowling. You can tell that I watch Food Tribe. Right, there we go, ah, bugger. Right, okay, so. Lava, water bucket, let's go. I really just like this terrain. I, I love base terrain. I love how I've got it all over my world. It's brilliant. Bloody brilliant. Right, now I need some signs, 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 signs. Um, right. Sticks. And I don't have the recipe unlocked yet. <laughs> Anyone think that I've only played this world for five minutes? Um, and judging by the fact that I've got bedrock, it's quite obvious that I haven't. Oh, it's so good having efficiency 5. Although, above efficiency 3 doesn't do anything to grass, dirt, and sand. Nope. Where is it? Where's the ghost block? Guess I'm going to have to relog. Also, you may have noticed that I'm trying to keep the game in full screen recently. Uh, this is by... Um, I don't want to say request, recommendation of Puffing Fish HQ who I would like to thank as the main inspiration for this series and also just uh, inspiration for me getting back into doing YouTube um, so yeah thank you to him for everything that he's helped me with not to mention he helped me reset the end on my old server uh, so you know, brilliant guy if you get the chance to talk to him, then I recommend uh, doing it. Just don't harass him. Ah, oh, God. I forgot I'd do that. I desperately need more rockets. I'm nearly out. Uh, annoyingly... Hang on. Annoyingly, due to me using light loader, I can't... Uh, what was I going to say? I can't just... I'm not doing very well with speech today, sorry. Uh, annoyingly, due to me using light loader, I can't just do the f 4 do, which is what I would usually do, uh, because it's easy and it uh, dupes it relatively quickly. There we go. Oh, 121. Record. Uh, actually, no, it isn't. The first one I did where I got like 140 is my record. At least in this series. In previous worlds, I believe my record was about 200. Which I didn't think was possible, but apparently it is. Right, let's hope that I've done this right. Uh, I don't feel like I have. Hang on, I'm going to have to find a tutorial. Okay, so I've watched a tutorial on how to do this duplication glitch, and it turned out I got the size the wrong way around. All you need to do is that. Then this, and then that. Also, the person that I saw, uh, oh, there we go. Remove these. 
This is a fairly easy way to remove them, and I believe in this version it's the only way to remove portal. Oh wait, no, you can do the mushroom method, which I am not going to do. Uh, however, this method is no longer possible, as it was patched sometime in 1.13, not 13, 17. Sometime during Minecraft 1.17, talking about removing the end portal frames. Uh, this duplication glitch itself, I believe, was removed sometime during 1.14. Uh, no, sometime during 1.15, even. Right, and there, you need to put water there. I don't think you do actually need water. Hang on. He dies, and he drops his trident. So you can see I have one trident here. Did not get that anywhere. And if I myself pop into the end now. You will say, find that. Oh, I didn't pause. Oops. Uh, oh well, so. I have done this correctly, I think. I hope. Uh, and now I just need some donkey spawn eggs. So. Uh, donkey, donkey. Donkey. Right. Uh, then I need some chests. Lots of siblings. Right, chests. And you also need to tame the donkeys. Which is fairly easy. All you need is some saddles. Which I should have somewhere. Where are they? There they are. I found the saddles. And then uh, I, where's my dirt gone? I do have chests. Yeah, I do indeed have chests. Right. And just want to cover that up so that donkeys can't get out. However, I can. Where do I get all these from? Um, oh, yeah, I duplicated them, didn't I? <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Right, and then you want to block that up so that the donkey can't get through. Also, I just realised there's already a 12 minute long video. Don't go through there. That won't go well for you. Hang on, I'm going to get some sugar to make this a bit quicker. Oh, I'm, just I'm terrible at flying. Okay, right. So, sure, I've got plenty of this. And sugar. Yes, that was a system of a down reference. Right, now I've given you a load of sugar. You should. Hey, there we go. Oh, no, don't want to wear ten of them. Right, so then. Oh, wait, I forgot you meant to get it down to half heart, aren't you? Alright, oh, that's to have a load of health, doesn't it? This donkey just doesn't want to die. Or not, it doesn't want to die, it wants to get down to half heart. Or I believe you can do it with one heart, but it's safer to do it with um, half. Right, and then. I'll break this block and send the donkey through the end portal where it will die, drop all of its stuff. Then if I now go through to the end, which annoyingly... Yep, there's the donkey. Kill it. And we did and duplication. Now the other duplication glitch is going to require me to make a schematic. Uh, because it's the sand duplicator, uh, so I will be right back. Okay, so I have... Hang on. Sorry about that. So I have now made the schematic of the simple sand generator, which uh, I took the design from Raceworks, so I'd like to thank him for that. Um, and I hope that he is okay with me using his design. I'm sure he would be. Um, 
And this isn't a tutorial on how to build it. This is just me building it. Uh, so I'm going to go load schematics, sand generator. And I wasn't supposed to get that lower bit. Oops. Right, multiply it. And I am also going to rotate this. So schematic placements. That way you should do. Then let's move it back a bit. Yeah, that's the one. And let's remove this tree. Because it is in the way. Oh no, it's not in the way. I'm just going to say it's in the way for the sake of it. Right, so firstly let's... Oh, I forgot about that. Um, let's just build the frame for the farm before I actually get all of the blocks in place. I'm not going to build it out of iron out of uh, iron blocks because that is way too expensive currently due to the fact that I don't have an iron farm and I don't intend to make an iron farm until I eventually uh, update to 1.14 which will not be for a while now just thought I'd add that uh, and then go there, there and there block there, block there and block there Then block there, there, there. Oh, damn it. Right, up we go. No, that was terrible. So was that. Come on. Alright, let's go back a bit. I'm trying to not. Uh, I'm trying to not make this video quite as long as yesterday's video. Uh, I do apologise for that. Or I don't know when I'm actually going to release this video. I might even release it on the same day. Who knows? Right. So that block can stay at go even. Then that no. Wouldn't the well not if I'm trying to get up to it. There we go. That one can go. And that's it. Right. Now, uh, I am going to go and get the materials for this because there is quite a few materials and I'll be right back once that is done. Okay, so I just remembered that I actually have to break uh, some of these end portals. But instead of doing the uh, normal method, I'm going to do a slightly more cheaty method. Uh, and just go into uh, what happened there? And just go into creative mode because obviously I do have access to creative mode in this world thanks to the crosshole commands portals. And apparently that eye vendor just disappeared, which you've you, you got to love it. So uh, let's just act like that didn't happen. And go back over there, place in the eye vendor. And acts like... Oh, wait, I've got to go back, haven't I? <coughs> and then act like nothing ever happened. Right, let's go. Uh, then let's clear out all of these blocks that I placed down just so that I could um, place the portal frames. Right. So, as you can see, I have all of the items necessary. Uh, so, uh, I need some of that. And um, why do I need three levers? Oh, no, I do need two. I've just got three of them. For the sake of it. Right, then that needs to be there. Oh, hello. Work, please. Thank you. Place that there, that there, and then this video is going to be over 20 minutes again. I hate it when that happens. Right, and then I've got a place, Pist that's not a piston, that's a wood block. So, yeah, I'll place that right. I'll place a sticky piston there. Uh, 
that then. I need that. Sorry, the commentary is going to be a bit boring on this. So I'm not really that great at commentating when I'm doing stuff. There's always just a lot of that there, that there. I don't know, that's very boring, but uh, I, I'm trying to work on, you know, my speaking when it comes to these videos. I mean, you'd think that being a native English speaker, I'd be better at speaking than I am. Turns out I'm not. <laughs> Uh, the, oh, I forgot to say. I knew that would happen, eventually. Then... Ah! I fell down. Then, if I get the slime blocks... Slime block, slime block. And slime block. And slime block, slime block, slime block. This entire farm should... Hopefully be completed. So if I now reorganise my inventory, get some sand. So I just take free sand from here. Also, I've waited and I've waited until this version to build this farm, so that I would actually have uh, light massacre, because I am terrible at building farms from memory. Right. So let's see. Will this work? Uh, if it doesn't work, then I'm just going to end the video here. Come on. Oh, oh, God. Oops. Also, oh, wait, no. If I leave that there, that'll mess stuff up. Right. I need to eat, otherwise I'm going to die. Then I need to build back up. And I can finally place the sand... That's cool. And finally, turn the farm on. And let's go schematic placements off. That looks like it's working. I uh, see, can I turn the farm back off? Uh, I didn't get it in the right cycle, but or phase, so cycle, whatever. But I can indeed turn it off. So now, if I go into the end, I should have sand that's gone over there because I forgot that you need to actually do stuff in the end before you set it running. So, that will be the end of today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.